Hello and welcome everyone to the 2022 Astronomy Photographer of the Year Awards Ceremony. We're currently stood in front of the Great Equatorial Telescope here at the Royal Observatory Greenwich. This is a stunning example of Victorian technology. It's been observing the stars for the past 130 years. I'm Dr. Emily drabek monder the Senior Manager of Public Astronomy at the Royal Observatory Greenwich, and I'm joined today by Melissa Brabby, Science Communicator and one of our judges in the competition this year. Now this is the 14th year of Astronomy Photographer of the Year, and as always we were absolutely amazed by the quality of the images and the innovation of the astrophotographers. So what was it like around the judging table this year, Melissa? It was absolutely electrifying. I mean, the caliber of images that we were sent through to judge was just incredible. It made judging this year very, very difficult. So we really got a great selection of images to show you today. And I am very excited to show you who our winners are going to be for 2022. Great. So if you would like to see any of these images in person, we actually have our exhibition of Astronomy Photographer of the Year opening up this Saturday, September 17th at Royal Museums Greenwich. Before we begin, we're just going to hear from the CEO of Royal Museums Greenwich, Patty Rogers. Good evening, and may I welcome you to the Royal Observatory Greenwich for the Astronomy Photographer of the Year Awards. I'm Patty Rogers, and I'm the director of Royal Museums Greenwich. This evening, we will of course all have in our minds Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. It is absolutely momentous when we think that she came with her father to open the National Maritime Museum in 1937. And at that time and on that occasion, the observatory was then of course a major scientific institution and absolutely in its pomp. It has been a year of brilliant and innovative work We've had over 3,000 applications of stunning photography from 67 different countries, ranging from the inexperienced, the young, all the way through to the professional and the dedicated. And the work that they've presented is jaw-dropping. It has been an absolutely wonderful competition for us. When we launched the competition, in a very timely way, it coincided with NASA's preparations to launch the James Webb Telescope. And so this has been a year in which we've been stunned by the ingenuity of science and the wonderful images that have come from the deep. But our competition is no less miraculous in the fact that we have developed so many great images and so, such wonderful photography that proves that you don't need to be a scientist or an astronomer to be really involved in this competition and to take amazing photography that stuns the world. You just have to get out there in the night sky and look up. Before I go on, I would just like to say a few words to say thank you to the key people that have made all of this possible. First of all, I would like to thank Liberty Specialty Markets, our generous sponsor for the Astronomy Photographer of the Year Awards. Without them, none of this would have been possible. Thank you indeed. The BBC Sky at Night magazine our media partner, HarperCollins, our publishing partner, Celestron for donating a telescope for the Young Astronomy Photographer of the Year Award, and the judges. It's dark and lonely work, very tense, and a lot of effort put in. It is actually one of the most difficult things that you should have to do because of the wonderful photographs that they see. I want to thank each of them for their dedication. It's really quite a brilliant effort. But, last of all, and most importantly, a great thanks to every single person that's been out there in the cold and the dark taking, taking these wonderful photographs and they're submitting them to our competition. Whether you're shortlisted, whether you win an award, the people that make this competition are each and every one of you that submit an application. And I want to thank you from the very bottom of my heart. You make this event. Now I'm going to hand you back to Emily and Melissa, who will take you through a wonderful awards evening. And you'll get to see the most fantastic astronomy photography in the world. Actually, I think we can say in the universe. Have a wonderful evening. 
Our first category is the Young Competition, and this features astrophotographers who are under the ages of 16. This is the category to watch because in the future, some of the winners of Astronomy Photographer of the Year will come from this category. The image topics can range from anything in astrophotography, from star trails to images of other worlds in our solar system and also landscapes with the center of our galaxy overhead. Let's take a look at the shortlisted images in this category, the Young Competition. For the Young Competition, highly commended, The Crab Nebula in Hydrogen and Oxygen by Julian Shapiro. Highly commended, Mineral Moon Mosaic by Peter Jabo. Also highly commended, Rainbow Rose Cells in Hot. And the winner of the Young Competition, Andromeda Galaxy The Neighbor by Yang Hanwen and Zhao Zhejian. Let's hear from the winners of the Young Competition. Hello everyone, I'm Zhou Zhezhen from China. As the winner of the Young Category for APY competition in 2022, I feel very honored and thanks the judges for doing a lot of this work. In my opinion, one of the main functions of astrophotography is to attract more people to fall in love with astronomy by showing the beauty of the universe. So in the processing of this work, I tried a different processing method than before, focusing more on how to make a picture magnificent. At the same time, I would like to thank my friend Yang Hanwen once again. With us effort in the early stage of shooting, this photo will never be so beautiful. Thank you all. And I, Yang Hanwen, very glad to be approbated by the judges and thanks for the competition. And especially thank my friend Zhou Zhezhen. His amazing process is an unusual way to show the beauty of this common object. I think this photo showed how gorgeous our closest neighbor is. It also tells us the meaning of astronomical photograph, making it easier for people to appreciate the space. I think I will continue to do this exciting work. Thanks for everyone that encouraged us. Thanks for you all. The next category is Aurora. Aurorae are caused by interactions with the sun and the Earth's magnetic fields, and the site can be truly spectacular. However, these beautiful sites are very hard to predict and not always going to happen and if the conditions are not right it can make photographing them that little bit more challenging but if you get lucky the site is truly hypnotic here are the shortlist images for aurora and the highly commended Winged Aurora by Alexander Stepinenko. The runner-up, Misty Green River by Fred Bailey. And the winner in the Embrace of a Green Lady by Philip Rebender. Let's hear from Philip now. For first, I don't know what to say. This prize makes me really happy, especially because during the expedition where the photo was taken, it was not easy. At the time, it was very difficult to get to Iceland. The conditions were also not ideal for shooting Aurora. But in one night, it was possible. And on that night, I took this photo. I'm really glad that it caught the attention of the jury. It's an honor for me. Thank you so much. We're now going to travel the furthest we can get from the Earth with our next category called Galaxies. Galaxies are massive collections of stars and planets that we find in our universe. And it's sometimes hard to imagine that the light from these galaxies took millions to billions of years to reach our cameras and telescopes here on the Earth. Let's take a look at the shortlisted images for the category Galaxies.
highly commended in Galaxies, SMC and the Magellanic Bridge by Matthew Ludgate. Runner-up, ARP-271 Cosmic Collision by Mark Hansen and Mike Selby. And the winner of the category Galaxies, Majestic Sombrero Galaxy by Utkarsh Mishra, Michael Petrasco, and Muir Evenden. Let's hear from the winners now. Hello everyone, I am Utkarsh Mishra from India and I'm so proud to announce that we have won the Galaxy category in this competition. A good amount of research and planning went into this subject and to be honest I already had a blueprint in my mind about how I wanted the image to end up. Something really special about this image is the faint stiller streams surrounding the galaxy. We shared this subject from the pristine black skies of New Mexico with a 16 inch Newtonian and Later, during the post-processing, we managed to pull out some really faint stuff, which makes it very special. And I also like to announce that I've made a post-processing tutorial about how I process this galaxy, and it can be found on my website, www.gharshmishraastrophotography.com. And again, on behalf of my teammates, Michael and Muir, I would like to thank the organizers and the judges for selecting our image as a winner. Thank you, Fierce Skies. For centuries, we have gazed upon our moon in all its phases and have been captivated and inspired by its presence. This category showcases the unique ways that our finalists have photographed our natural satellite. Here are the shortlisted images for our moon. Highly commended, an eclipse from a thousand sunsets by Noah Kialski. Runner-up, Moon Big Mosaic by Andrea Vinoli. And the winner, Shadow Profile of Plato's East Rim by Martin Lewis. Let's hear from Martin now. I'm really delighted, but honestly a bit shocked as well, to actually win the Our Moon category this year with my image Shadow Profile of Plato's East Rim. The image was taken on a night of great seeing in April last year with my home-built scope Fossil Light, which you see behind me, and which I use for most of my planetary and solar system imaging. I wanted to take the opportunity to thank the organisers at Greenwich and the judges for another great competition, which recognises the talents of some amazing astrophotographers around the world. There really are some truly wonderful images on show again this year. We're about halfway through the awards ceremony, and if you've been inspired and amazed by the images you've seen, and want to own your own copy of the images, then you can purchase the Astronomy Photographer of the Year book for 2022. This not only features all of the shortlisted images, but also comments from the photographers, judges, and even some of the astronomers here at the Royal Observatory Greenwich. You can purchase the book online, but also at any of our Royal Museum's Greenwich sites. So do check out our website for more details. The next category is our sun. Our sun is the closest star to us in space, and that makes it in the perfect location for taking a close-up photograph of a star. You can see the sun in many different ways in a photograph. You can have landscape images showing the sun at different locations in the sky, depending upon the time of year. You can see the sun in solar eclipses when the moon is blocking out some of the sun's light. But you can also see close-up images of our sun, featuring its brilliant sunspots and prominences. Here's a look at the shortlisted images from the category, Our Sun.
highly commended in the category Our Sun, A Giant in the Sun's Limb by Miguel Claro. Runner up, Solar Inferno by Stuart Green. And the winner of the category Our Sun, A Year in the Sun by Sumyadeep Mukherjee. Let's hear from Sumyadeep now. Hi everyone, this is Sumyadeep Mukherjee from Kolkata, India. I'm honored that my image, A Year in the Sun, has been selected as the category winner for the category Our Sun at Astronomy Photographer of the Year 14. The project uh, began in December 2020 and continued till December 2021. Um, at the beginning, I, I really wasn't sure that I would be able to continue taking image of the sun every day for this long. but. Uh, I consider myself really lucky that I was able to finish the project and uh, the image came out nice. My sincere thanks to all the judges and organizers for showing love to this image and appreciating the efforts. My congratulations to all the other winners. Thank you. Our fascination for the cosmos is deep rooted throughout our history and this category, People in Space, demonstrates how that fascination has carried through into present day. No matter how busy our modern world becomes, the beauty and wonder of space compels us to keep looking upwards. Here are the shortlisted images for people and space. Highly commended to Equinox Moon and Glastonbury Tour by Hannah Rochford. The runner-up goes to Back to the Spaceship by Michal Minkoff. And the winner, the International Space Station Transiting Tranquility Base by Andrew McCarthy. Let's hear from Andrew now. I am so thrilled to have been the category winner for People in Space. With this photo of the International Space Station transiting our moon, it actually represents years of work that went into learning how to do this properly. And being able to capture these moments and share them with the world is my passion. And um, with the validation I got from this award, it really encouraged me to go out and try to shoot more of these and hopefully make more, take on more ambitious shots and projects. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. We're just gonna have a quick break and here's a word from our sponsor, Liberty Specialty Markets. At Liberty Specialty Markets, we're delighted to, and honoured to be supporting the Astronomy Photographer of the Year competition. As a commercial insurer, we believe strongly in supporting the arts and creative industries and ensuring a robust future for them and bringing exhibitions like this to the public. In the course of our work, we see many breathtaking exhibitions and pieces of art. This exhibition is equally amazing and shows what can be achieved when art and science and the natural world combine. Now more than ever, in a changing world, it's important for us to think broadly about our environment. And I have no doubt when you see these photographs, you'll have as much curiosity about them as I have, and they will generate much debate in the art world. I wish all of the competitors good luck and thank them so much for taking the time and effort to enter the competition with their amazing photographs. Our solar system is a dynamic place, and it's in constant movement. Our next category, planets, comets, and asteroids, highlights these objects in our solar system that are orbiting the sun. This is probably one of my favorite categories because it allows us to see these other worlds up close. Here are the shortlisted images for planets, comets, and asteroids.
highly commended for planets, comets, and asteroids. Cosmic Rose by Lionel Magic. Runner-up, The Jovian Family by Damian Peach. And the winner of Planets, Comets, and Asteroids, Disconnection Event by Gerald Riemann. Let's hear from Gerald now. Hello, I'm Gerald. I'm very pleased and proud to winning the Planets, Comets, and Asteroids category with one of my comet pictures. I'm so happy. Uh, this comet surprised the community with several outbursts. One happened a few days ago before this picture was taken. There were many interesting tales, uh, details in the Ion tale must be the wait. I was very lucky that the weather in Namibia was still excellent at the time the picture was taken. Because it's usually rainy season there. The comet's altitude at the start of the shot was 25 degrees. But due to the very dark skies in Namibia and the excellent equipment I used, I was able to achieve this result. Thank you very much to the jury for that decision. Our next category is skyscapes. Here you will see wonderful examples of the constant reminder of where we sit in the universe being beautifully captured against our modern world. Here are the shortlisted images for skyscapes. Highly commended, The Night Highway by Philip Rebender. Our runner-up, Bad Water Milky Way by Abhijit Patil. And our winner, Stabbing Into the Stars by Zhu Wei Hu. Let's hear from Zhu Wei now. I'm so pleased to have won the Skyscapes category. This photo shows the star trails above Nam Cha Bawa, one of the most beautiful snow mountains of China. It's like a dreams come true moment for me to capture the sky where all the elements are just perfectly matched. It's my privilege to share this moment with all of you. Stars form in regions of galaxies called nebulae. Nebulae can be incredibly beautiful. They can often be seen as rainbow-colored clouds in space. But not all nebulae show star formation. Some are the result of the death of a star. Let's take a look at the shortlisted images from the next category, Stars and Nebulae. Commended, The Center of the Heart Nebula by Peter Feltodi. Runner up, What a Flaming Star by Martin Cohen. And the winner of Stars and Nebulae, The Eye of God by Wei Tang Liang. Let's hear from Wei Tang now. I'm 
再次感谢 API 组委会让我获此殊荣。We've now come to our two special categories. The first being the Annie Mulder Prize for Image Innovation. Here, our astrophotographers have taken existing data and observations from telescopes and have reinvented them in imaginative ways to create distinct pieces of art. Here are the shortlisted images. Congratulations to our winner, Solar Tree by Pauline Woolley. Let's hear from Pauline now. I'm so thrilled to have won the Annie Maunder category. As an experimental creative who shied away from using available visual data, this category finally gave me the permission to delve into the abundance of resources from the Solar Dynamic Observatory and create something that I hope will communicate the link between the sun's life and life here on Earth. It was while researching for a new series of work that this idea sprang to mind. Many thanks to everyone involved in this exhibition. Your hard work is very much appreciated. Thank you. If you're new to astrophotography, the quality of the images in the competition may seem a little daunting at first, but don't let that put you off. Everyone has to start somewhere. The Sir Patrick Moore Prize for Best Newcomer is for astrophotographers who've only been doing astronomy photography for a year. So here's the shortlisted images for the Sir Patrick Moore Prize for Best Newcomer. of the Sir Patrick Moore Prize for Best Newcomer is The Milky Way Bridge Across Big Snow Mountains by Lun Deng. Let's hear from Lun now. Hello,我是来自中国的德文。很荣幸能获得今年的最佳新人奖。从这片宇宙的壮阔和绚丽震撼以来,我重新赏天文摄影作品,到自己尝试着拍摄。在道德到理想的效果,经历了许多。我的脑海中一直在幻想蜀山之王共感雪山与出生的银河交相辉映的场景这是天与地之间极为壮观的景象组合我曾多次来到共感雪山附近但一直没有看到理想的画面终于在去年二月我将曾经想象的构图以摄
Hello, I am Gerald. I was surprised and at the same time very pleased that my comet picture made it onto the overall win. I'm very proud of this. This award is one of the highlights of my astrophotography work. All the efforts that went into making this photo a success was worth it. I now have 35 years of experience in the field of comet photography, which certainly helped when creating and processing the image. The time window for observing a comet is short. They unfold their full splendor near the sun to disappear again into the deeps of space. To achieve pinpoint stars and a sharp comet on the image at the same time is the challenge to me. Uh, this is not easy because the comet moves in front of the sky and sometimes the structures in the iron tail are changing very fast. Many thanks to the jury for their decision. Huge congratulations to Gerald Riemann on the winner of the Astronomy Photographer of the Year 2022 competition. This is such a stunning image of a comet as it's actually breaking up in space. I've never seen anything quite like it before. Now, Melissa, what was it like seeing this image for the first time and picking it as the winner of the competition this year? It really did blow us away looking at this image. Like you said, we've never seen an image of a comet breaking apart before. And the way it was captured was just so stunningly done and it just took all our breath away. So huge congratulations to the winner and congratulations to all of our winners. You have truly surpassed our expectations and really set the bar high for next year's competition. If you have been inspired by these images tonight, remember you can see them in person at the Astronomy Photographer of the Year exhibition that opens this Saturday, September 17th at the National Maritime Museum. So you can catch them there. Also, if you're interested in astronomy and astrophotography, but aren't sure where to start, then we actually run courses at the Royal Observatory Greenwich, both online and on site. You can check out our website for more details, but we do have a course in an introduction to astrophotography starting at the end of October. So please definitely check it out. And if you have any thoughts on this year's winners, share them with us on social media using hashtag APY14. So thank you to everyone for watching and we hope to see your photographs in next year's competition. Bye for now. Bye.